Hello guys and gals, this is Phil Neal and you're watching the Asian Cop. McDermott is in support inside and Phil Neal's made a run from the back. Still case, there's Neal! Oh, I say! I wanted to kind of um, talk to you about the current team and the first team in particular. Yeah. There's a couple of questions I wanted to ask you. Um, from, from having a position which was kind of problem position to fill and right back, we now have Glenn Johnson, Martin Kelly, John Flanagan. What are the attributes that you like about all those three players? Well, I think um, we were given the freedom, I, I certainly was, by all the managers here, to work hard with a, a good working person in front of me, whether it's Sammy Lee, Jimmy Case. Um, you know, we, we formed a good kind of habitual kind of partnership that, that supplied the forwards uh, and helped us defend at times. <laughs> we had to defend at certain periods. So, you know, defensively, but pushing together going forward. And, uh, and that was the nice thing um, that um, certainly Joe Fagan um, in his 84 year, he said, look, if you join an attack, stay with it till it breaks down, but then get your backside back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you understand what well, that was one of his quotes really. And, and, and it showed with me and Alan Kennedy scoring in European finals, it showed that we were adventurous we pulled the trigger, just like Johnson does here every now and again, and surprises himself by scoring, you know. <laughs> and so it, it, it was a thing that we all contributed to, goal scoring, um, throughout the years. And um, whether you're a centre-back, you're expected to get three or four goals from set-pieces. Skirtle's got one today against Villa, so <laughs> happy with that. They're still carrying on. Uh, but I hope the few full-backs and... Kelly and uh, he scored recently for Liverpool and uh, England so you know he's getting the habit um, Johnson's really got the pedestal um, it's up to the others to break in and, and say I'm be better than you really and if, if Phil Neal was playing right back at the moment which which current Liverpool player would Phil Neal love to be playing with oh um, I like the uh, the hard working Dirk Cout in front of me I, I, I have him um, certainly um, Sammy Lee and Jimmy Case were equally as hard working as the count were. And so I think we keep both, uh, both of us in the team. That's what we worked on. Whatever the partnership was with who, um, you, you approach it as a duo to say, look, let's get the, you know, make more crosses in down our side other than the left side, Alan Candy and, and Ray Candy, if you want, or, or you know, whoever it, it, it was to become. So, it was a it was a challenge, you know, either side of the pitch. Let's let's be better servers on the right hand side than the left hand side, and there was always kind of competition, and and I think that showed in our, our aptitude to want to win in the last ten minutes too. And if you're on the opposing team against Luis Suarez, how would you how would you deal with him? Well, I hope um, the referees go back to uh, allowing me to kick a kick a winger. Really, I mean, um, you can't tackle these days, so. Um, we would, we would have a plan between Jimmy Case or I or Sammy Lee and I um, to push him inside on his worst foot. Now whether you can find a worse foot on Suarez's his, his balance and, and, and overall commitment, um, I don't know whether you can find that. But generally we could find worse sides on, on everybody in our thing. And, and if we're all thinking that way, pushing them on their worst side, we're doing Liverpool a hell of a favour if there's 10 people thinking like that, isn't it? Absolutely. Gemmel, Todd again, robbed by Neil, Dalglish on for Neil, Black stays down once again, and Neil has scored number two. And just quickly moving away from the current team squad, um, do you remember uh, where you were when you saw your first Asian Liverpool football fan? Oh. Uh, no, I, I think um, Asian football fan. When I first saw an Asian football fan, well, I think you know, kind of. I think they've always been around, even before I came here. You know, there was Asian people in my own jurisdiction, really, in Northampton and, and, and whatever. There was people playing cricket on the opposite side of the county ground when I was I grew up, who were Asian. Uh, be it a spin bowler, be it a batsman, whatever. You know, I was I was aware of that. You know, when I had my apprenticeship at Northampton, so I didn't have to wait till I came here. Um, and I think my biggest 
honor um, uh, as playing against Donga, the famous Brazilian in Kuala Lumpur. Many years ago, really, it was a, a tsunami thing or whatever it was we went over there for, and uh, a few of my colleagues, Ronnie Whelan, Ian Rush, whatever, we went over Bruce Grobler, uh, and we played a bit yeah, against the South Americans, and, uh, and that was fantastic, really. There's a huge kind of support out there, isn't there? It's, oh, it's, yeah. It's I'd, growing probably by the day. Well, it's, it's, I mean, the numbers um, don't surprise me, really, you know, having been out to Jakarta recently, um, and it's staggering, really, just to see the amount of, of, of the passion uh, for the Premier League and Liverpool out there. Mm -hmm. uh, and my final question um, is, what would you say is, what makes Liverpool the greatest team to support? Well, because I think the fans have always kind of known their football, you know, and I, I just wonder whether the modern player, you know, kind of, I feel sorry for certain people who, who have drifted in and, you know, not really clicked with the fans. All you need to do is, is sweat, put sweat on that red shirt of Liverpool and, and do your damnedest to try and create a goal, score a goal and be entertaining, be fruitful, be youthful. You know, put every ounce of energy into that that game that you're playing in, uh, and obviously, you know, if uh, we certainly did that, and, and if we were happy that the manager picked the same team as long as he possibly could. Yes, there were certain injuries and touch wood, I didn't get one, but I think, you know, that is the the purpose. You come here, and the and the electricity on a good top five game here is as good as you'll get anywhere in the world and I think the fans appreciate it when they travel from from the Far East and beyond um, they come here and they want to witness they've seen it on the telly they've felt it but it's not quite the same as being here at an actual game when there's a teethy top five game going on here and we'll be back amongst them